Good morning. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Monday morning and I am still sitting here at my desk drinking my coffee. I just wanted to share, I wanted to kick off the vlog for starters. I just wanted to get it going. And then I also wanted to share that one of the struggles that I had last week and I'm having again today and I wanted to share it with you is that when I changed my morning routine to be a little bit shorter to take out reading to make space for dance um, and moved reading to my commute time, I have been having an issue finishing my coffee and like now it's time to work out. Like I'm on my routinery app, it's time to go work out, but I'm not done with my coffee yet because I just didn't, normally I spend another 20 minutes or so reading and that's when I finish it up. Um, and so sometimes last week I drank the coffee while I was working out. When I'm doing like a strength class that's like not on the bike, that's more feasible. When I'm doing a spin class on the Peloton, it's just not, it doesn't really work. So I don't really know what I'm going to do about it yet. On Monday, Wednesday, Friday is when I'm not going into the office. I could get away with sitting here and like doing something else for 30 minutes or even 15 minutes while I finish my coffee, whether that's like a, a task that I have on my calendar for later in the day and get that done now and then go work out and then get ready and all those things because I don't have to commute. And I usually have like a 30 minute buffer anyways. But on days that I'm going into the office, that's not gonna work. Like I need to get into my workout so I can shower and get ready. And I, I don't know. I like I said I haven't quite figured figured out a solution to this yet other than like just drink my coffee faster while I'm doing my other morning routine things. But the reality of what ends up happening, right, is I pick up my phone and I scroll through social media or I I do something totally unnecessary on my phone while I sit here and drink my coffee. And that's just not how I want to be spending my morning. So something I need to think about a little bit more again like I said in I think last week's weekly vlog or the week before it's only eight weeks it's eight more weeks of dance and then I can shift things back and move things back to whatever they were before and there, the days that I'm still going into the office that is a little bit of a different scenario but it is it's I'm gonna figure it out let's let's do it that way I will figure out a solution I just wanted to share that with you okay my camera is in the same spot but it's a few hours later and I just made my iced coffee, which I usually have kind of in the, the middle of the morning usually, but it's a little bit earlier today. Because clearly because my hair is still soaking wet. But normally I have it kind of mid-morning as like a mid-morning pick-me-up and I make this one sweeter with the Quest protein shake. I just had a thought though. And that's been working for me. I like having like my quick Four Sigmatic mushroom instant coffee with just half and half in the morning as my like morning coffee. And then I have my like iced latte sweet coffee in the middle of the day or the middle of the morning as kind of like keep me going. And I like to sip on it and enjoy it. But what if for the next eight weeks, at least I switch them around and I have my iced coffee in the morning. I may not even add the Quest protein shake. I may just have the cold brew concentrate I get from Trader Joe's with either half and half or oat milk and then make my hot coffee in the middle of the morning where I can sip it and enjoy it and then I'll be able to finish it before I work out. I think that's what I'm gonna try tomorrow. It is bright out here. All right, it is lunchtime. I pretty much always try to get outside during lunch. It is good, like fresh air, I get some steps in. It's also really good for your sleep to get some like natural vitamin D at some point during the day. Um, and so normally I try to always link it up with an errand. What's an errand that I can go do? What's something I can check off? I actually got this tip from the nutrition coach I worked with at the beginning of the year. She works with a lot of people who live here in New York and she says instead of ordering something off of Amazon to get delivered, like walk somewhere in New York and go pick it up, go buy it from a store. So when I planned this morning, I actually didn't think of anything that I needed to do out and about. And then I remember that I finished two books over the weekend so I can go to the library and drop those off. I finished Akata Witch, which is a fiction book. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna recommend it in my quarterly favorites video. And then I finished um, F Your Diet by Chloe Hillard. Super funny. Um, I don't know that I really like took a lot out of it from like a action standpoint, but it was an enjoyable read. So I'm gonna drop those off and then I'm actually gonna run across the street and run into Trader Joe's, which is right by the library. We are pretty much out of the everything but the bagel seasoning. So rewind, normally I grocery shop on Fridays, but because we're going out of town this weekend, I when I went to the store like 
over a week ago, I made a plan for us not to need to go to the store this past weekend so that we would be good through going out of town and like eat through our leftovers and not have a bunch of leftover food. And that's still true. We're still in really good shape, minus everything but the bagel seasoning. And since I'm gonna be right there, I'm assuming that there's not gonna be a line right now to get into Trader Joe's. So I'm hoping I can just run in and grab that and get out. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. I also swung by my P.O. box while I was out and about because I got an email that I got a package there and I am so excited about this. So I let it slip on one of the live Lattes with Lakin that this was coming. So rewind, one of my favorite cookbooks, Cook Once, Eat All Week. I've talked about that cookbook now for over a year. I rented it in like March of 2020, March of last year. And I had the library version for months because the library closed down and so I couldn't return it. And then I finally bought my own and I just love it. And because I've shared so much about that cookbook over the last year, the author actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted an advanced copy of the new cookbook. Now, when I say advanced, y'all, it's coming out in a, a, like four days after this video goes live. So like not even two weeks. I'm getting this book like exactly two weeks basically before it goes that everyone can buy it so it's not that advanced um, but I'm just excited that she gifted me a copy because cookbooks can add up in price and I just I love her mindset when it comes to cooking I love her nutritional focuses like I love the balanced aspect of all of her meals and pretty much everything I've tried of hers has been delicious obviously like anything there's gonna be a couple ingredients or a couple meals that I don't love but that's why you have a whole cookbook of options. So let me give you the details. So this book has 120 dinner meals in it. That is a lot of dinner meals. If you just cooked this whole cookbook once a meal, which I mean, if you cook seven dinners a week, you deserve all the rounds of applause. Uh, but so even if you did that, if you cooked seven days a week of dinner, you would only repeat the recipes three times a year, which is just great. It's helpful. So if there are things that you or your family are picky about, like you, you can skip over those and still have lots of options. So let me explain to you how it works. So this cookbook, the cook wants to get all week that I raved about has you prep a bunch of food the week going into the week. So you usually spend about an hour or two in the kitchen on whatever day I always did it on the weekends. And then it, you had meals for the rest of the week. That does work well for me when our weekends, allow for it when we have Sundays that we are able to spend an hour or two cooking and then cleaning up the kitchen it works well that's not always the case and what I already kind of like skimmed through the intro and that's what she explains in here is that she actually while she stands by that cookbook 100% this cookbook is more about how she actually cooks meals for her family which I think is really cool also it's beautiful okay it's hardcover it's just beautiful the photos in here are just absolutely beautiful so let me explain the concept the book has what we call dinner series so I just looked to D dinner series 10 which is looks like it's like a whole chicken I probably would skip this week I, I always skip like the full chicken weeks um, in the old one let's go to one that I actually would like to do hang on what, what kind of chicken are we working with here this one actually well if it's also a leg I typically only do chicken breasts let's see <laughs> oh my gosh another full chicken so see there will be weeks that I don't do or I need to get out of my comfort zone and do like a full chicken let's see if I can find something here okay meatball boats oh that sounds really good okay let's do this one so the concept here it's called a dinner series so the meal the first night is on the this layout is just got the pictures it doesn't have the recipes so it's got what the meals are about what is meal one and then it says on a scale of one to four money signs, how expensive are we talking in terms of ingredients? There was like a duck week, that one's probably gonna be, you know, more money signs, something like chicken is probably gonna be closer to a one money sign. Is there a dairy-free option, an egg-free option, a gluten-free, a nut-free, and is it freezer-friendly? How helpful is this? So like each week, or each, it's not a week, because it's a series, and you might do two or three series per week. But what, um, like this one, you know, this one's got three money signs and has some different things. So the concept is that you cook the first meal in a series, and then when you're cooking the first meal, you do stuff, like you prep extra ingredients to help you with the second meal. So the next page, ha so over here it says how you make it dairy-free, how you make it gluten-free, and then a tip that you can do to save time. I was kind of reading through those tips. Sometimes they say like, to cook the potatoes the day before and things like that. So then you flip to the actual recipe. So it's got the recipe here and it tells you like what you're cooking extra of to help make the next day easier. And then in the next day, it has like, you know, reserved from meal one to help you with this meal. Isn't that super helpful? It's just, I don't know. I just think that that is like incredible. That just feels super helpful to me. And again, they're, so it's in pairs of two. So it's two meals. 
and there are 60 different pairs of two. And so for us, I would probably plan for like two of them a week which means two longer times in the middle. So like this one is like a long meal. I mean, you're spending 55 minutes total to cook. It says 20 active minutes total time, 50 minutes. But then the next one, the next day is only 30 minutes, which the cook ones eat all week tends to lean more towards these faster ones once you've done the prep. Let's just look at another one. Okay, loaded avocado bacon burgers. Oh my goodness. So this one's got three money signs and then crispy beef hash. That also sounds so good. So this one, the first day is 50 and 50, which is long. And then 25, but then an hour. Well, that doesn't really save me a whole lot of time. I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I'm definitely gonna flip through this and like decide which ones I wanna start with. Um, or I'm just gonna start at the beginning, which is what I tried to do with Cook Once Eat All Week, which is like start at the beginning and go from there. But I just think that the the concept is really cool. And I and also, like I mentioned, her meals, like the nutrition value, she has them all here down at the bottom. And they're just, I always feel like they're very balanced. Like they're a reasonable calorie range. So if you are somebody who is on a health journey and you're trying to lose weight, like for a one meal, it's very reasonable. It always has a, a good amount of protein. So I always feel really good about her nutrition facts for each of her dishes, but oh my gosh. I'm just so excited to dig into this and get started. Obviously I will share in upcoming weekly vlogs not going to be this week because I have already have meals planned for the week, but in future weeks I will share in weekly vlogs how they go and, and what I think about this cookbook. If you just want to go ahead and order it, um, you if you order before September 14th, you can get some pre-order bonuses. I'll leave that link down below if you're interested. Um, I don't get any sort of kickback. I mean, she did send gift me this book, but like it's just a general link. It's not like a special special link for me. Um, if you do pre-order it and want to get those bonuses, otherwise, you know, wait until I give it a go and I will let y'all know if how how I feel about it and if I recommend it. But I'm just so so grateful that I was able to to receive a copy and I can't wait to jump in. Good morning. It is Tuesday. I have decided to work from home today. Number of reasons. I overslept, so I wasn't really prepared. I have a, a Zoom call for something wedding related during the day that was supposed to be yesterday. I'm in today. Um, I feel like there was one more reason, but it, do, it doesn't really matter. I'm working from home today. It's the beauty of it being optional, right? So I am going to stay home, but I'm still gonna quickly kind of get ready for the day. Um, just keeping it super simple, but just at least doing something to make myself feel a little bit more put together. I mean, this is something I talked about in vlogs for 18 months now about the whole balance of getting ready, not getting ready, using products, products that are gonna expire anyway, so I might as well just use them. Um, but you know, is it a waste to be using makeup when I'm not actually going anywhere? But I am going to dance tonight, and I do like at least having like mascara on so I can see myself in the mirror, because when I'm wearing a mask, like it's just nice to see your face. I'm also expecting some fun in the mail, so I'm excited to be home for that. I'll share it with you when it comes. Um, let me know in the comments if you've ever ordered clothes from Amazon. I have not done it a ton, but most of the time, I enjoy the stuff that I get from Amazon. It's obviously not the highest quality products, but it's like a reasonable price and they have a really good return policy. So if you order something and you don't like it or it doesn't fit you, doesn't work for you, they're really good about accepting returns. And a lot of the times the stuff from Amazon comes in a bunch of different colors. So when you find something that you really love and you need specific colors for specific things, it can really work out. So. That's kind of what I'm doing. So I, the purpose of the initial order, I ordered six dresses and four of them have come in. They came on Saturday. The other two are getting delivered today. The goal is to at least just find one of those six for Sam's mom's wedding this upcoming weekend. I just didn't have anything that really suit. When I asked her what the formality or what the like style vibe was, um, I just didn't really have anything that fit that style. Everything that I had was either like too wintry or too formal or like too casual for what she was at wanting. So, which is fine. Um, I'm happy to buy some new dresses from Amazon. So I ordered a bunch of dresses in my colors from my color consultation result, results, which I talked about in last week's weekly vlog. And so far two of the four I really like. Um, and then we'll see how the two pair out today. But one of them, one of them I really love. And unless something from the other two today blow me out of the water, like that's the one I'm probably gonna wear to her wedding. But, and I got it in this like purple plum color. I'll show you all of them once the other two come in. And I think I'm going to end up ordering that one in other colors. So I think I'm going to order it in white for something for me, bridal, whether that's my bachelorette party or the rehearsal dinner. And then I think I'm also going to order it in green for a friend's bachelorette party. It's my friend that's getting married in Ireland. I can't remember if I've talked about that in a vlog. So my bridesmaid who lives here in New York that's engaged, they're getting married in Ireland. 
because that's where her family is from and the vibe of like what they wanted their wedding to be she'd always kind of imagine this like big kind of like mansion type castle in the northeast like somewhere maybe on the coast where all the like the her family and her bridal party would stay and the wedding would be at this like big house this beautiful house and she could find that here in the states but it wasn't quite big big enough like she wanted more rooms and apparently that's like what they do in ireland like that's the vibe of their weddings over there and so her cousin who lives there told her that and anyway long story short she's getting married in ireland so for the bachelorette party they're doing kind of like an irish type theme for one of the nights and so i think i'm gonna order it in green for that the dress is 30 dollars so cute and flattering and i just I, that's one of the things i love about ordering from amazon is i found this dress that i love i'm gonna have like a purple one for sam's mom's wedding this weekend a white one for me green one for this and green i feel like i can wear at other events too like I, it could be a christmas dress it could be a st patrick's day dress like i can i would utilize that green i could also wear it to other weddings actually i might do that i might wear it to one of our other fall winter weddings that we've got going on so i uh i'm super excited to get those last two and show you all of them all right the whole time i was getting ready i was like in my head i was like there's something else i was going to mention on the vlog and i could not remember what it was but i i knew it would come to me eventually the iced coffee thing worked perfectly having iced coffee in the morning i finished it during my morning routine and then was ready to move right onto my workout so i think that that switch is going to work out well at least for the next eight weeks while i have dance and i'm doing a shortened morning routine Okay, the other two dresses came and I tried them on and so now I have some conclusions. So this is the one that I talked about earlier that I'm for sure keeping. The lighting in here is making this look a lot more purple. It's a little bit more of a, like a, it is more plum. It's got more pink in it than you can see here, but it is just so cute. And this is the one, like I'm definitely 100% keeping this one, likely wearing it, I don't know why it's not focusing, to Sam's mom's wedding this weekend. And then I'm gonna get it in those other colors like I talked about. Moving on to the blue one. So I have three that I got in blue. This first one, by the way, I will I will leave them all linked below because just because I don't keep them doesn't mean that you might not want to, to try them out. Um, and they all come in a ton of different colors. So if I talk about like liking one of the dresses, but you're like, that color is not for me, I would also still go check out the links. By the way, I got large in every single one of them. So if you, you know, if you watch my videos, you know what I look like, that might help you. Um, and they all fit. I'm not returning any of them because they don't fit. So this next one was one of the ones, I wanted to love this one because it is so soft and stretchy and it just feels like it would be so comfortable, but it just lays funny. Like the spot where the, the seam is, is a little bit higher than I want it to be. And the, like the, where the darts are, it just, it didn't, it didn't lay right. Um, this one, it fit fine. Like this, this size one. Um, but so does like, I like this one better, which I'll talk about in a second. And these two are just so similar. I know it's lace and not lace, but like, I don't need to keep two short sleeve a line of this like royal blue dresses um, and I'm gonna keep this one. So I am gonna return this one. However, I'm gonna save this dress in my like favorites or whatnot to potentially get in other colors. If there's other colors, colors that I like in it in the future, if I need a specific color for something and I want something especially that's um, more conservative with a high neck, this dress is a really great option. This is the one that I'm keeping though because I just think, I, I mean, I just love the lace and we have lots of weddings and I feel like it's more formal than this one. This one, by the way, the material is also very stretchy. It's not as soft as this one, but it's um, it's a little bit thicker. It reminds me a lot of that LuLaRoe material if y'all ordered LuLaRoe back in the day. Um, that's what it reminds me of. So then we have this lace one, which is just so cute. It's so adorable. It's got a little belt. Um, I just love it. It's the right length. So this one I probably will also be getting in white for our rehearsal dinner. I just think it's the perfect, perfect vibe for that. All right, now onto the red one. So this brighter red one, I am going to return. It's all lace. This one just sat funny. So I don't know if it was made for people with a smaller chest than I am, um, but the, the line right here, which I'm assuming was supposed to go under my chest, sat like right on my chest. And I couldn't like, it, I just, it wasn't stretchy enough. I couldn't pull it down. And even if I could, then it would have been really low cut which is not what I'm obviously going for, for my future mother-in-law's wedding. So I am gonna return this one. I don't know that I'm even gonna save it remotely for the future. This one I'm debating. So this one, the body of the dress fits really well. It's got pockets. Um, it just like the way that it fits in the waist and I love the neckline fits really well. Um, first off, I don't love the color. It's a much more of a wine color than a bright red. And I just, 
I would prefer to wear a bright red. This just feels way too close to like the color of my hair. Um, so it's not quite the right shade for me. And I don't know if I love the sleeves. So the sleeves are just much looser, like flowy in person than they were in the, than I, than they looked like in the picture, which I, my mom would love these sleeves. Like this, my mom would love this dress. I just don't know that I love it. So I'm definitely gonna return this colored one. I'm gonna save it potentially. They have it in white. It's a decent, like it's a good option if I wanted something with sleeves, uh, but I don't know. I, I just, I don't know if I love the sleeves. I know that that like flowy sleeve style is in, but I'm never usually one for them. Um, trends for sure so anyways those are all the dresses keeping this one and that one and i'm gonna return these four hey it's wednesday i just wanted to quickly say hi um i'm trying to be good about doing something sharing something on the vlog at least once a day but today has just been busy it there's just been a lot of things going on today i actually had to rearrange my schedule so i could dye my hair during lunch because i realized when was I going to dye it before we went out of town this weekend and it's Sam's mom's wedding and so I wanted my hair to be like freshly dyed. Couldn't wait till I got home and this evening is super busy. I have my normal YouTube live from 6 to 7 like I do every Wednesday and then the first class of Accelerate Your Goals for this live round starts at 7.30 tonight and there's just a lot, a lot going on. So I just wanted to say hi, let you know that some days you just, you feel like you're jumping from one thing to the next and that's okay. I have the camera set up to take my thumbnail for the live and thought I would say hi and I had three cups of coffee today. <laughs> so that's how I'm feeling. Hi, it is lunchtime on Thursday and I originally wasn't gonna go into the office again today. I just was gonna work from home again. Um, we had the Hurricane Ida, which if you are down in Louisiana, I hope that you and your loved ones are all safe. Uh, made its way up to the Northeast. Um, not hurricane status anymore, but massive storm blessing, massive amounts of flooding here. And we were safe and good. And I was like, I'm just gonna stay home and just avoid all the things that are gonna be going on out in the city. And then our internet went out. So I am now headed into the office. Hopefully they have internet. I mean, I live close to the office, but just because our like local small internet is out, well, I mean, it's Time Warner, but I'm assuming that the office still has internet. I'm hoping the office still has internet. So I'm gonna stop by a coffee shop, pick up another cup of coffee, cause that's the kind of day that it's been and get to the office. Well, change of plans. I did not realize that all a lot of the public transportation here was still being impacted by the flooding and there is really no way for me to get to dance. Um, they are still having rehearsals because people who already live over in Queens, rehearsals are in Queens, so they already live on, on, the, other, on the other side of the water. It's easier for them to get to rehearsal so they're not canceling it and there is a way, it's like a a train I don't normally take to a train I do normally take to a bus I is like I could get there. Uh, the bigger issue is getting home. Uh, it's going to be dark. I don't know what the, what's going to be running when I leave at 9 and I just don't feel comfortable trying to figure that out later tonight. And everybody understands the director, the choreographers, like they know I, I'm not the only one who is not trying to venture out to Queens tonight. Um, so that's a bummer. It basically just means I will have some more work to do between now and next week's rehearsal to get caught up. Uh, the choreographers are really great about taking videos and posting videos and then I can always reach out to them and like do some one-on-one -on -one time if I need to do that. But I'm pretty confident in like my ability to catch up between now and next rehearsal. So just something else I'm gonna have to add to my list for next week to be prepared since I won't be there tonight. But the good news is, is that freed up my whole evening. I didn't think I was gonna have this evening. So I'm kind of debating whether I just relax, like I kind of just wanna take my book, go take a bubble bath and read, or if I start to check off some of the things that we're gonna be on tomorrow's list. So I am taking a full day off tomorrow, and our flight's not until 2.30, but I still need, I definitely wanna work out in the morning that I can't do tonight. The things I could do tonight are pack, and that one I think I definitely wanna start doing today. I did go ahead and print out a pack list and like work on that, so that's all ready to go. And then besides packing, the other thing that I kinda wanna do tonight is meal plan. I wanna run to Trader Joe's tomorrow before we leave because I'm only gonna be gone the weekend and I would love to come home Monday to a fully stocked fridge, ready to go for the week. I normally grocery shop on Fridays. It's like the normal time I go. So um, I was just planning to meal plan in the morning before I go to Trader Joe's and I might still do that. So we'll see. We'll see how I feel when I get home and uh, I'll make a decision then.
Well, I came home to my Ulta order that arrived ridiculously fast. I think I ordered this on Tuesday. Um, Ulta is currently doing their 21 days of beauty sale. By the time that this video goes up, there will be about a week or so left. Hi, do you think this is for you? Do you think this is for you? Um, so you can still check it out. Basically what happens is every day there's different deals and they're about 50% off. Most of the stuff in the sale, like over the full 21 days is not stuff that I wanted. There was one thing on Tuesday that I did want and then everything else I just got regular price. Well, that's not true. One thing I did get on sale, but it wasn't part of the, the beauty sale. All right, just kidding. I forgot that I also got this and I'm pretty sure this I got because it was on sale. I don't know if it was just on sale or if it was part of the 21 days of beauty, but this is the Ofra liquid lips, Ofra, Ofra, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, liquid lipstick. I used to have this. It is in the shade charmed is the name of it. And I used to have this there. It wasn't a square. It was like a normal round lipstick. I hope that it's the same color and formula that it used to be that I absolutely loved because I used up the whole tube. Um, it looks much darker than I remember, but I'm excited, I'm excited to try it. It was on sale. Um, this I got because I ran out of my other one. I was originally using, now I can't remember the name of it, um, that does the same thing. I'll pop up a picture here of what it was, but I ran out and I tried to find it at a number of drugstores in my neighborhood and I could not find it anywhere. I've heard a lot of people talk about this one and they were about the same price, so I decided to go ahead and give this one a try. Um, summer's almost over, so it's not quite as important, but there are still times that I wear a dress without tights in the fall, depending on the weather, and this stuff is amazing. Um, all right, something that I needed that I just was repurchasing are these All May eye makeup remover pads. This is what I use when I have a lot of eye makeup on and I know that my cleansing balm isn't going to get it off. I take off my eye makeup with this first. And then I also got a new cleansing balm. So I have been using the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm for a very long time and I do love it, but it's pricey. And so I wanted to see if I could find a cleansing balm that I liked just as much that was a drugstore price. The Soap and Glory one isn't, it's still, it's not super, super inexpensive, but it definitely is less than the Clinique. And then Soap and Glory was having a buy one, get one sale. So I got decided to go ahead and get this tonic, uh, this glow tonic. I, it's a uh, glycolic acid product. I have another glycolic acid product um, that I will sometimes use like in between washing my face and putting on some sort of serum. Um, and so since Soap and Glory was having a buy one, get one, I decided to go ahead and try that. And then the last thing I got was what actually took me to the website. And this is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. I just wanted to give this a go. I've heard a lot of great things about this. I watched a couple different YouTube videos of people recommending things during the sale and pretty much every one of them recommended this. So this is what I went to Ulta for and ended up with all this other stuff too. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna take a bubble bath. I just wanna rest. And I brought both my books in here with me. So because I normally read my fiction book on the train to and from dance, I brought, or my nonfiction book. I don't know why I keep messing those up. I brought my nonfiction book, which is We Shall Be Millionaires by Rachel Rogers. And then, so I'm gonna read a little bit of that as if I was gonna read it, you know, on the train to dance. And then I brought my fiction book that I am reading, which is The Night Circus. I just started it, not super far into it. I was trying to finish it before we went out of town so I could just take my Kindle with all the fiction books I have on my Kindle for our trip this weekend. That's just not going to happen. I'm just going to end up bringing this. Luckily, it's a paperback, so it's pretty light. So um, I don't really feel too bad. But these are probably also the books I'll end up just taking with me this weekend. And then I'll also bring my Kindle in case I need any extra reading. All right. Good morning. It's Friday. I did not do anything yesterday. So now I'm going to get the meal plan done so that I can get to Trader Joe's. All right. So this planning pad I got from, it was created by a YouTuber. Louise, Louis Lane, Louise Lane. I've, I've talked about her before. Her name is actually Lauren, um, but her name of her channel is Louise Lane. I'll leave it linked down below. And she has this meal planning pad and I love it for a number of reasons. So first off, I pretty much always have the same thing for breakfast and then for lunch, we either do leftovers or smoothies. Um, I was filling that in like I was writing. For breakfast, I usually have eggs and then yogurt and granola if I'm hungry and then lunch again, leftovers and smoothies. The snacks, sometimes I'll fill in this section too, but honestly, it's not as important. Um, I like it sometimes to be able to, to just see on the fridge to remind myself like this is what your options are. Um, and then I love the prep section when I'm doing meal prep, like what are the things I want to prep for the week? And then I love that it doesn't have the days of the week. I just realized that this one at the bottom is a different height though. That's kind of weird. Um, but I love that they are, don't have the days of the week because what I normally do is I plan out usually about four 
meals, home cooked meals. It kind of depends on what our week looks like right now. With dance, that looks a little bit different. Um, and then depends on our weekend plans. And then I will just check them off as I cook them instead of planning out like which one I'm going to do which day of the week. Now, this week of meal planning is going to look a little bit different. Like I said, normally I do about four home cooked meals and we eat the leftovers for lunch. Sam is not coming home from Houston. He's staying for an extra week to see some clients and do work in Houston for a week. And so I am meal planning just for me. It's been oh, what, five years since I've meal planned just for me. And so because of that, I the leftovers will go further. So I get home Monday. So I definitely want to cook at least one meal on Monday night. I'm probably just gonna do tacos because tacos are fast, delicious. So I think I'll do tacos on Monday night. I am kind of thinking about the days of the week because I don't get home until Monday, so I don't even have Sunday and it's just me. So I'll probably cook tacos Monday and then I'll probably do a crock pot meal on Wednesday like I always do. <laughs> hey Charlie, let's do, there's a kitty in my lap. Uh, I'll probably do the beef and broccoli on Wednesday. And then I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna cook something on Friday night because, I mean, each of these makes about four to five servings. And so, I mean, that is two dinners and two lunches. So, you know, if I eat this Monday, Tuesday, I eat this Wednesday, Thursday, plus lunches, maybe I'll go ahead and grab a frozen meal to have just in case I don't end up with enough and I want to have something additional. So I'm gonna get um, the frozen reduced guilt mac and cheese. And oh my gosh, you guys, I've been craving mac and cheese ever since Sam went and bought the craft flavored ice cream from Van Leeuwen. This is like a special flavor that they released and it's been really hard to get your hands on and I don't know if Sam fell with something. I don't know. He knew on Tuesday apparently that if he went to Van, Van Leeuwen in our neighborhood he was going to be able to get it and he did. It is the weirdest taste, tasting thing. It's so bizarre. It tastes literally like the Kraft Mac and Cheese, the sauce. It doesn't have any like consistency. It's literally just smooth ice cream. It doesn't taste at all like, like noodles or any kind of carb. It literally just tastes like the sauce but it's consistency of ice cream. It is very strange. But ever since I've had it, I've been wanting mac and cheese. And then I'm gonna get some kind of chicken, like frozen chicken to throw on that. So now I take this notepad. Both of these have magnets, by the way, and they sit on our fridge. So they magnet to our fridge. Um, okay, we still have a lot of fruit left over from this past week. We have um, apples and clementines, and then I have bananas in the fridge for smoothies, so I don't need that. Um, I do need some more spinach for smoothies. And then what here do I need vegetable wise? Um, I'll put the spinach on the tacos as well. The broccoli is frozen, so I guess I don't need that. Beans, I need canned beans and canned corn. I put those in my tacos to add a little bit more substance to the taco meat. And then frozen, I need broccoli for the beef and broccoli. I need the cauliflower rice for the beef and broccoli. I need the mac and I need chicken. Normally I would buy fresh chicken, but again, I'm trying to make this a frozen meal in case I don't get to it this week, that it's okay. Um, and then meat, I need ground turkey, the tacos, I need beef and that's it. I am gonna get cold cuts and cheese um, for snacks. I like, I've been kind of having like a snacky type dinner or lunch on the days that I go to dance. Um, and so I like having cold cuts and cheese for that. And then I usually actually, um, do we need, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get celery and then some kind of dip for the celery. I've been getting either the buffalo chicken dip or they have this pimento cheese dip, that's really good. I think we're good on spices, condiments. Actually, we need taco seasoning for tacos. And then guac, the guac is kind of here by the deli meat. It's like in between the deli and the meat and fish. It, the order of this notepad is obviously not the order of my Trader Joe's, but I know where everything is. I need to check. We may have enough extra tortillas and they may not need extras. I may be okay on tortillas. Definitely need coffee. We definitely need oat milk, half and half, eggs, yogurt, things I always get, granola. They were out of my granola last time, so I had to get a different kind. We have rice, because I mix, mix cauliflower rice with regular rice for the beef and broccoli. And I think that's it. So that's, I kind of just like go through it to start, and then I'll go through each individual recipe and make sure I have everything for each one. So for tacos, I need tortillas, turkey, taco seasoning, beans, corn. Um, I'll put spinach on top, guac, and oh, a red, I want a red onion. We have normal like white onions, but I like red onion for tacos. Uh, beef and broccoli, 
obviously beef, broccoli, cauliflower, rice. We have regular rice. And then all the seasonings, like uh, the stuff that makes the sauce, I, I'm pretty sure we have everything. I'm trying to think. There was one thing I ran out of the last time I made it. So I'm going to double check that, but I need to grab the recipe off my phone. And then the mac and cheese and the chicken for the reduced guilt mac and cheese. I feel like I should add a vegetable into that, like frozen... And maybe I'll get like frozen peas. Emily Lay always talks about mac and peas and how much our kids like that. And then all the stuff I normally get, you know, eggs, yogurt and granola, stuff for coffee, and then some snack type stuff, the celery and dip, and then cold cuts and cheese. We have fruit, we have stuff for smoothies in the freezer. I think that's it. All right, everything is going as planned today. <laughs> Knock on wood, our flight's on time. Everything is taking me as what I expected it to take me in terms of time. So I packed for the most part, except I'm gonna do my toiletries now while I get ready. I went to Trader Joe's so that I have all my groceries for next week. So when I come home on Monday afternoon, the fridge is stocked and ready to go, um, which was, it just takes such a load off to not have to worry about it. Otherwise, honestly, with dance and everything, I probably wouldn't have the energy or the, the desire to go Monday night. I also have a couple things going on Monday night once I get home. And then I wouldn't want to go on Tuesday. It just like, it probably wouldn't happen and I would probably end up eating out. So really helps me stay on top of things that I went today. Then I came home and worked out. I tried to do a spin class on my Peloton Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And then the length, I talked all about my workout routine in not last week, but the week before that weekly vlog. Um, the length of the class really just depends on how much time I have that day, how I'm feeling. Today, my legs are super sore from the leg workout with weights that I did yesterday. So I just did a 15 minute low impact. It's Emma Lovewell's Disney 15 minute low impact. I've done it a number of times. And in fact, I finally learned, I don't know if you knew this, but on, if you have a Peloton, like the actual bike, not just you do it on the app, you can on the leaderboard on the right and you can filter just on yourself so which is i don't really care about what everyone else is doing i'm really just competing with myself but it's yourself on that particular ride not normally i just like see myself on other 15 minute rides well this is a low impact so i'm definitely not going to beat my other 15 minute ride numbers but i can look at myself i've done this was like the sixth or seventh time that i did this ride and so i was able to see what i did on this particular ride so i got my best output for this exact ride. I just really like that and I just recently learned about that ability. So I just wanted to share that in case it helped anybody else. So I did my ride and then I did a 10 minute arm and light weight. There is an arm challenge. It's not like, it's not through Peloton. Somebody outside, I'll link the Instagram below, created this challenge from one instructor who I love. Her name is Tunde and she does these light arm weight um, classes that you do with one, two or three pound weights. And she encourages you to do them to like three to four, two, three, four times a week. So I started that a couple weeks ago. So this is my third week doing it. And I usually do them Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday is when I incorporate those workouts into my schedule. But since we are going to be in Houston this weekend and I don't know what kind of equipment Sam's mom has, I'm trying to think like, I mean, I've been there a number of times, but I can't think of what like her, uh, her workout setup is like. Um, I know she works out, but I can't think of there being anything in the house. So I wonder if she works out or if she goes to a gym. Anyways, so I don't know what the equipment setup is like there. And I also don't know what the timing is going to be like. I hope that I can fit in a workout tomorrow morning. And if I can, I will just filter. Peloton has a filter for body weight only. So if I don't have weights, I will just do a body weight only workout tomorrow. But I knew I wouldn't have the weights to do the arm and light weight workout. So I went ahead and got that checked off today. And then I decided to skip the core workout. I just, I try to do the core workout every day. It's part of that hardcore on the floor Facebook group, but I just, um, I, time was kind of making me nervous and I just wanted to get showered and start getting ready. So that's what I'm doing now. So I, what I do as I get ready most of the time, unless it's like a 6am flight, then this is not the scenario. But if my flight is like 9am or later, this is what I'll do. I won't pack any of my like makeup or toiletries until it's time to get ready for the day. Um, and so I've got my list here. I've talked about this before. I made this list myself. And then what I do is I highlight everything that I need and then I cross off as I pack it. And then I circle the things that get packed at the last minute. So my phone charger, laptop charger, my cup. Um, I even circled like my razor cause I hadn't showered yet when I went through this list earlier this morning. And then I needed to grab my razor from the shower. And now I have my quart Ziploc bag. And I also have my hanging toiletry thing. This is what I use when I know that I might take my toiletries in and out of the bathroom. Um, normally when we go to his mom's, we don't have to share a bathroom. We have our own bathroom, but his 
new step siblings are also gonna be there this weekend. We've actually never met them. They're from Arizona because that's where his new stepdad is from. Well, he's originally from Baltimore. They went to high school together. I think I said that somewhere. They're high school sweethearts. Um, and so they're both originally from Baltimore, but he lived in Arizona, so that's where his kids are from. And they are gonna be there this weekend. And the bathroom that we normally use, Jack and Jill's to another bedroom that I'm assuming one of them is gonna be staying in. So. I, I, or I don't know, maybe we won't stay in our normal room. Our normal room we stay in was like Sam's childhood bedroom. Maybe the step siblings will stay in those bedrooms and share that Jack and Jill bath and we'll stay in his sister's old room and use her attached bathroom. I don't know. Anyways, I'm packing my toiletries in the case that I want to be able to pull it in and out of the bathroom because it also has like my makeup and that kind of stuff. Stuff I don't necessarily need to do in the bathroom if we're gonna be sharing with another person. So I try to keep that in mind when I am packing. Otherwise, it also depends on if I'm checking a bag or not because if I'm not checking a bag, then sometimes I will take more toiletries like than fit in this quart size bag and so then I won't use that Bear Bradley hanging thing. I'll use a different bag um, that we are carrying on because it's just a weekend. Well, for me, it's just a weekend and Sam's carrying on because he somehow always fits into a carry-on bag. Is that just, is that a guy thing? So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. That way I can get this footage all uploaded before we head out. And I'm gonna leave my camera here and enjoy the weekend with Sam's family and just kind of relax. And I'm sure I'll post some things on Instagram because I always do. Um, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Playing With Lincoln if you like to see more of the like in real time that I will either never include in a vlog or sometimes it is in the vlog, but it's, you know, a week and a half later than when it went up on Instagram. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday focused on helping you achieve your goals. Thank you so much for watching. I am just so, so psyched. Blah, 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 blah. Lucy, Lucy, or Lucy, that's weird. Anything, that's kind of awkward. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Where's my other, oh, there it is. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it. Okay, bye.